healthy food is a vital part of seafarers' welfare on board. When crews eat a balanced and nutritious diet, they're more contented, more productive, and less likely to have accidents. In a series of 10 programs, catering on board ship emphasizes the importance of food safety and the relationship between diet and health. The aim is to motivate cooks to plan and produce healthier and more varied meals while making good use of the provisioning budget. Starting with the importance of regular galley inspections, the series emphasizes that good hygiene is enforceable by law and that inadequate waste disposal, cook's clothing, record keeping, pest control and stock rotation can lead to a ship's detention. Risk assessment based on the International Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point, or HACCP principles, is essential. Equipment must be safe and functioning correctly. Faults must be logged and actioned in writing. Program 2 shows how to plan a varied menu that meets the crew's cultural, religious, medical and individual needs. Recommendations are made about which ports to purchase from, when to generate an order, and the importance of requesting products by brand in order to be certain about quality. A menu is costed out, showing how the budget can be efficiently managed by calculating the number of portions required, tips about correct storage, how to reduce wastage, and using up leftovers are also included. Program 3 covers essential management tools and record keeping. Cooks learn how to schedule their routine tasks effectively and to make the best use of everyone's time. All routines and operations, including hours of rest, must be logged. Documentation discussed includes the work diary, the work list, stock records, temperature and equipment logs and cleaning schedules. This paper trail makes the cook's work easier and more efficient, but also shows any external auditors that company standards are being implemented on board. Program 4 educates the crew about sensible eating and drinking. The overall message is one of freshness, balance and moderation across all the food groups. The risks of not eating healthily are explained, ranging from serious illnesses such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes, to allergies and fatigue. There are separate sections on carbohydrates, fat, sugar, protein, vitamins and minerals, and special diets. Program 5 will increase cooks' knowledge of food products, with a view to creating more varied menus, increasing efficiency and cost-effectiveness. There is advice about how to select different cuts of meat and fish and how to store and thaw different products in the storeroom, freezer or refrigerator. There is also information on types of meat, fish and dairy that different cultures may not eat and an explanation of use by and best before dates. Program 6 shows the standard kitchen equipment items that are needed in the galley, how to use them safely and effectively, and how to maintain them. Different types of knife are shown, along with demonstrations of how to cut different food items and how to maintain and sharpen a knife. The importance of equipment inspection and maintenance and the logging of faulty equipment is emphasised. Useful but not essential equipment is also listed and Cook's clothing is illustrated. Programs 7 to 10 offer practical advice to galley cooks, including featured recipes and covering all the main types of food preparation. Braising, boiling, poaching, steaming and stewing, known as wet heat cooking, are demonstrated, as well as techniques for making basic stocks, soups and sauces. Recipes illustrate the basic principles of dry heat cooking methods. Baking, roasting, grilling and shallow frying. The final program in the series shows how to make bread, pastries and desserts. The types of bread demonstrated address different religious, cultural and dietary requirements and shows how yeast works to make dough rise. 
Each program in this series is accompanied by an electronic workbook which highlights key learning points, lists all the featured recipes, plus many more, and further resources as well as assessment questions.